Blade flagship Android phone can now capture 10 to 12 bit raw still images. Raw images are way more easier to color grade in the post because they have more stored color information. On the other hand, raw format pictures include more information than compressed and processed formats like 8-bit JPEGs. Some of the newer phones now can capture 24 to 30 raw images in one second, which also means that you can get raw format cinematic videos with high bitrate. Of course you will need lots of space because these files will be huge comparing to the regular videos. I found out this camera app that allows you to record 30 to 24 raw images in one second, like the burst mode but in raw format. This means raw video recording, which is mostly used by cinema cameras, now can fit in your pocket. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. There are other raw recording apps for Android you can find online. Motion Cam app also is available for computers too. I mostly record with my phone and transfer all the videos to my computer to process to make it efficient and faster. Even I'm using the free version, I have the full control of the manual camera settings and 4K video size which is amazing. I can also use my zoom wide angle cameras too as you can see on the left side. It starts in auto mode in default but also I can manually control the focusing ISO shutter white balance for each camera. Besides manual and autofocus, there's a touch focus working with this app too. I am actually impressed that even the free version has lots of features open to use. Now trying my 3x camera. Autofocus also works pretty good if you want to use the autofocus instead of manual focusing. You can also attach an SSD hard drive to directly record into the SSD because the raw videos are taking lots of space. You can color grade and edit the frames as an image on Photoshop or Lightroom or any video editing software. I compared Galaxy S22's regular video mode and 10-bit raw video recording with the exact same settings. You can also easily notice the difference in the highlights, especially those aluminum frames. And here you can see the improvement in details and color in the shadow areas. Besides Photoshop or Lightroom, I can directly import my raw images into a timeline in a video editing software and color grade them all at once. I can pull up more details from the shadows and lower the highlight to create more dynamic range. Similar thing here too.
Another cropped image in a darker scenario this time. When you turn on noise reduction from the motion cam app, it works pretty good. Noise reduction feature works well for any low light conditions. There's also a shake reduction feature in the app, but I wasn't happy with the results, so I turn off the shake reduction. It is better to use a tripod or some type of stability when recording with this app.